Hey everyone, it's Heath and Kelly back from Homes on Wheels and we are out here with a single wide with some attitude, guys. This thing is nice and it's even got a fireplace inside. Check out this little front porch on there. Absolutely beautiful. We're just gonna give you a quick walk around here and let you know a little bit about it. We had to get a step stool. They don't even have the uh, steps yet for it, but they do have some of it staged, so it's really nice inside. You guys do not wanna miss this tour and this house is affordable. A lot of bang for the buck right here at this mobile home tour. All right, let's go in and take a look and see what it has to offer. We are out here at Clayton Homes in Albertville, Alabama. Well, we're gonna put their information in the description box below. Let's go inside. But we got a first look that nobody else has seen. This is a single wide with a fireplace. Go ahead and close the door and we're gonna give you guys a good look. And there is a fireplace. I've never seen a single wide with a fireplace. It's so cute though. It is, that is so neat. Now again, I don't know if that's real fireplace or not. It looks like it, but it may be gas. You guys will have to contact the salespeople to find out for sure about that. But it looks good. And here is that front porch. We couldn't get in that door because it's chained off and they didn't have the steps on it. But you can see out onto your front porch and we're gonna show you that here in the front of the video anyway. So I gotta show them how we got in. We'll show them how we got in here in a minute. <laughs> All right, so let's go in and look at the kitchen. This is 960 square feet. So everything's a little practical here, but it's really nice. two seats right there yep so you got a bar or an island that functions as a, a like a table i guess you could There's have you can have a little there. small table right there but i probably would just use the bar especially if it's just two people i think that would be plenty you could sit on the porch yeah or you could sit on the porch the yep that's right so got a lot of shelves they go all the way to the ceiling guys i know y'all always want to see about that Sink. The windows do open in this kitchen. Yep, there you go, Tammy. <laughs> and you got more shelving on the side there. Got your electric stove, the range hood. Can't be a step stool. Hey, wait, we got a step stool. That's oh, yeah. in. That's right. <laughs> Look at the shelving underneath here, though. Oh, those pullouts be great for pots and pans and stuff. Perfect. Hey, and one thing, Kelly, I wanted to point out, these stoves are not blue, guys. We had somebody in one of the last videos asked about a blue stove. That is actually it's just, steel. yeah, it's stainless steel, but it's a protective plastic type thing just to protect so it's not all scratched up. So when somebody buys it, uh, you know, it looks new. So, and these are the big, not bay windows. <laughs> these are big windows though. They're not bay windows. Right, Kelly? <laughs> Starts with a B, I guess. I guess. Boy and, windows? Boy windows. The boys don't know their windows? Yeah, and so we've got windows as you come down the hall here, across from your eco bay that you can control with your cell phone if you want to change the heat and air all from the comfort of your bed. And this is? One of the bedrooms. Bedroom. And again, we are in a single wide, so it's a little bit more conservative on space, but it is big enough for a bed and Functional, you can put a TV in here. You got a little closet here. They're doing a lot with 960 square feet. I can tell you that. They're not wasting a lot of space in here. Or if you live by yourself and make a good office. Yep. Another window in the hallway. Guest bathroom. Guest bathroom with the combo shower tub there. There's your toilet and your mirror and your sink. You with your storage. Mira. Mira. Your Mira. <laughs> she makes fun of my southernisms, guys. Kelly is not from the south, as you guys probably figured out by now. This is your utility area. And it's a little dark in here. The lights are not on, so. But that's where your washer and dryer would be. And we're going back into the master bedroom. 
And I am going to show them the closet, the master closet right here. And again, it's dark, guys. I apologize. I'm going to try to get my light in here a little bit for you. There you go. And the wire uh, closet, or the wire shelves in the closet, which is upgradable. We can give you a link to some on Amazon. And there you go. Here is the master bath. You got canned lighting in the ceiling, and you got another light right there, too. Plenty of storage down below. And you've got your toilet right there to the right. And as you go on in, you have your shower here. Interesting, this one just has a shower and not a toilet. Yeah, all, just a shower in this one. You do have the bathtub option in the other bath bathroom there. Yeah, I don't know if that, this one would be customizable or not. You could contact Clayton Holmes here in Albertville and ask him. And again, you've got the window up there. Let's go and see what the price is, Kelly. And this thing's very affordable. Uh, very affordable home. You get a lot of home for the money. Let's go see what it costs. You know, I can see a college student using this. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Or a single young person using the second bedroom as an office, maybe. Yeah. So, and this one's got a range. $59,045. Um, and it goes all the way up to 72245 Again, this is at the time of filming, you know, subject to change based on prices of lumber and that sort of thing at the time that you contact them. But today, that's the price range. And we are going to go on to the next video. Let's see what else we can find. Let's we got to get out of this place first. Thing. Before Kelly buys one. <laughs> so we're headed on to the next video. Be sure to click up in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and join us in our next tour. Also hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. What are you waiting on?